Emergency medicine is the most unpredictable, raw type of medicine that there is. Our tagline is anyone, any place, any time. And so it is a field of medicine that really encompasses that motto. Mayo is a special place and you feel the mission so deeply ingrained. This is about the patients and we're gonna find the best way to get the best care. You know, we're the front door of the hospital. Everybody feels that mission. We have patients coming to us from around the world who have not found what they needed anywhere else. And they walk into our emergency department and they're like, help me. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to work here was I wanted to know what was possible. First and foremost, what's unique about Mayo Emergency Medicine is the Mayo Clinic. You have the opportunity on a shift basis to be challenged and learn from the world's experts. When I was looking at Mayo and I was looking at residency as a whole, I think I really wanted a place that would command medical excellence and this next level of thinking and analysis and differentials that is hard to find anywhere else in the country. They did a great job of really communicating that to me and they've delivered on every front. Well, I can tell you with great confidence, having been one of the inaugural faculty of the residency, that when we set out to establish the training program, we wanted to train leaders in emergency medicine. People who would go on to their chosen communities, wherever they may be in the world, and do great things and lead in those communities. First stepping into Mayo Clinic, it honestly just felt like a welcoming place to be. We practice both here in a large academic medical center. We also spend a lot of time in more rural emergency medicine settings throughout Southeast Minnesota. We have the opportunity to go train in ICUs in Arizona, as well as in Florida. So Mayo is one of the largest graduate medical institutions in the country. And with that comes a lot of knowledge and expertise as to how to do this right. But Interestingly, there's also a tremendous opportunity for individualization of learning and opportunities to grow within that very large infrastructure, which I think we're able to capitalize on really well. I think that the most powerful educational opportunity that we have for future trainees are our faculty. We have more than 50 faculty members who trained all over the country and bring a variety of experiences. So if you're interested in research, I, I can't really imagine a better place to be. Those who really want to dive deep, we have endless resources. Those who want to do a, a relatively simple project and just learn the process, who are very new to research, we can customize to them as well so that they can also have a really positive experience. From an education standpoint, I think that we have top class educators here. From practice, really, the if that's something that you are interested, the world is really yours. We range from the acute bedside care, which is the, the bread and butter of emergency medicine. We've got telemedicine, we have observation medicine. We are now moving forward into AI and being on the cutting edge of what clinical practice is. The reason I think that the helicopter shifts are so important for my ability to be an emergency physician is that you get the opportunity to work directly with a crew and it helps you understand why we need to train so hard at procedures and learn how to be really great emergency physicians because these people, when they arrive here by helicopter, they're really, really sick and it's a life-saving tool. And the honor and ability to do that in the first year of residency is incredible. The EMS Physicians Vehicle is a vehicle that was created as part of the new fellowship program here. So we have EMS physicians on staff who will go out with or without the EMS fellow to scenes. They're able to provide medical direction. And so the physician vehicle not only serves as an opportunity for our EMS physicians and fellow to respond on scene to calls, but also for our residents to accompany them. Mayo has a culture of mentorship. If you're sick or you're out, I'll get a text from my program director being like, is everything okay? Can we do anything? Can I bring you some cake? I mean, it's just, it's a family. And we try to have an event every month, and these really vary. We want to hit everybody's interests and different types of activities. So one month we might have a day when we go out to the park and everybody brings their families and their dogs and we spend some time outdoors. 
Rochester has beautiful parks and trails. I was worried that coming to the Midwest would be major culture shock and may, you know that I would experience a ton of uncomfortable situations, but, but that hasn't really been the case. Mayo Clinic really values the, the diversity in their workforce and, and for me that has meant that I'm able to have conversations with my peers and with my consultants about the importance of diversity and how does that translate to improve patient experiences. Um, that I can talk to them about what it's like to be a Latina in emergency medicine and they immediately turn around and, and offer, how can I support you? We have these monthly meetings for the women in the emergency department and it's a time for us to get together, speak to each other, see what's been going on, and just kind of tips on how to navigate things, how to be successful, how to advocate for yourself. When we recruit someone, we recruit the whole family and we want to make sure that they're getting all the support that they need. Making the decision to rank Mayo number one for my rank list was absolutely the best decision I could have made. Uh, it's put me in a position to become the best clinician I can be, and I think it can't go uh, overstated enough how many opportunities Mayo has to provide anyone that wants to come and be a part of our family. Tonight is about beginnings and endings. We're very fortunate to have our brand new interns with us tonight just starting their Mayo journeys while at the same time we're able to say thank you and farewell to our graduating seniors. I want our new residents to see what you'll become in three short years, but not for the purpose of graduating from an emergency medicine residency, but for what comes next. And it's to take what you've learned here and to serve others. And I know all of you are gonna do that in an incredibly amazing way. And it's been an honor in the journey that we've been able to go on together. That's what I found at Mayo, was I found that family atmosphere and that support from your faculty and from your co-residents and from your program leadership that makes residency a joy and an excellent learning experience. Thank you for spending this time with us and letting us share with you a little bit about the Mayo Emergency Medicine Residency. We invite you to reach out at any time so we can help you continue to explore your Mayo journey.